BRB of BRB TV at the Motor City Comic Con 2013, talking to some great stars of the small screen and the big screen. Hi, this is James R. Green Jr. reporting from Motor City Con in Novi, Michigan, May 19, 2013. I'm here with a lovely actress, Zoe Palmer. All right. And I've been such a big fan of yours, and I've always wanted to interview you. Oh. I want to know, first of all, how did you get started in the biz? You know, I wanted to act since I was literally, I think, one of the first sentences I said was that I want to be an actor. So it was so, I can't remember not wanting to do it. Okay. So it was sort of a natural progression. I just, I did plays in school. I did plays in my living room, in my bedroom, <laughs> in the backyard. And I would invite, like, the whole town to come and watch me, which I think just makes me narcissistic mostly. But anyway, I studied at a university, and then I got an agent, and it kind of just unraveled from there. Good. Yeah. I wanted to write to the first time I saw you, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to play Nikita. When I saw you did the fight scene with yeah. her, and I'm like, oh my god, who is this woman? And I, and I just didn't talk to her. No, no, that's okay, yeah. People are working here. People are working here. They're good, they're good. All right. And I was just curious, how long did that fight scene take? Yeah, well, I think it took a couple of days, actually. We, we shot it down a whole huge stairwell, and like, so it was a tricky fight scene, and it was um, challenging, physically, very challenging. But Maggie Q was a huge pro, and um, an incredible actress, and a lovely person. So, you know, to be a guest on that show was great. Like, it was a really fun kind of project. You did a great job. You're Thank memorable. You. That's Thank why you. I said, caught my mind, and I went to Then a friend of mine, uh -huh. it's Emily, she's in California, and she's a friend of Holly. Okay. And I've been friends with you. Ah, oh, yes, the guy. Which one to, and I was like, oh my god, you know? Oh, it's so many people. Oh, became a fan of the guard. And I was like, that's it? Only 13? Was it 13 episodes? We did two seasons. Okay. Yeah. How many episodes were there? I think it was 26 altogether. 26, okay. Then I was also thinking. I think so. I knew it was too short. Yeah, yeah. It was too short. Because you're supposed to be hanging. Like, okay, well, that's it. Well, that happens with shows sometimes, you know? It was great to shoot. We did it in Vancouver. But so, what was your first impression of Claudette? Claudette, yeah, yeah. Claudette and I got on like a house on fire. She's great. Yeah. Steve Basic. He's fantastic too. Yeah, yeah. He's like a big, great sort of fun-loving teddy bear. He's awesome. Okay, mm. great, great. Now I'm going to get to the PS with this song. Okay. Lost Girl. Uh-huh. Now, how did the Lost Girl come about? Well, I auditioned for it. I was shooting the guard actually when they did the pilot for Lost Girl. So I didn't know about it until a little bit later on. And then I auditioned for the role of Lauren. And we had a couple of, um, I think I had three auditions all together, and then a screen test with Anna to make sure that we had some kind of chemistry, and uh, and yeah, and then all of a sudden they, they offered me the job, which was uh, like a dream come true. How many girls have you I have no idea. You'd have to ask them. I don't know. Well, you tell you what you want. You'd be like 200 women. I don't know. I know that they auditioned uh, in Canada, and I know that they went to LA, So, but I don't know the number yet. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank